Hi guys, Misty here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome back to our channel. If you are a new viewer or a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, we are going to be doing episode number nine of my Everyday Decor series, and we will be looking at my kitchen island. I also have a little two-tier tray on the island that I decorated for Valentine's Day, so I'll be showing that to you. So I hope you guys will stay tuned and enjoy the video. After I get done filming this, I am gonna take you guys into my laundry room. It's not gonna be a full decorate with me, but I'm gonna kinda show you a little bit of the before, and then I will shoot the after after I finish putting everything together. But we had the laundry room painted before Christmas, it was in early December, and the month was just so busy that I didn't get a chance to get back in there and hang all of my decor on the walls and things like that. But my husband had a buddy of his who was an electrician come in and hang a chandelier in there for me. And I also had him hang a shelf that goes kind of higher on the wall up above where my doors are. You guys will see it when I show you. So what I wanna do is just kinda of show you a little bit of a before and then I'll show you the after once I get everything put together. So let me take the camera off the tripod and we'll take a look at my kitchen island. Alrighty, so here is what my kitchen island looks like on the upper bar area. I've just got a couple bar stools, which I do not love the bar stools at all. I'd like to get some upholstered bar stools for this area. So maybe this spring we'll do that. But I'm gonna show you up close what I've got going on here. So I have one of my favorite pieces. This is my Gracious Goods cake plate. And the little angel that is inside here is from the Southern Living at Home Company I've talked about in previous videos. And there's just a little metal crown in there next to her. And I do, at Christmas, you probably saw her with some snow underneath her, some cotton snow and some ornaments. I leave her out all the time. I think she's beautiful and I just like to look at her. So she stays out all year. And then to cover some of my ceramic tile that I really dislike, and we've discussed that in a previous video, I've put this kind of French inspired runner. It's got some French script on it. And there's one of my little light up houses from the Target dollar spot. And then I have this really pretty white crackled pottery. My mom gave me these two pieces. So I've got the platter here. It's actually really heavy. And then in the bowl, I've just done some cotton pods and this lamb's ear topiary ball. That was purchased at Hobby Lobby after Christmas for 90% off. And I'll probably do some floral in it as we get a little closer to Easter. And then I just have another little house here. And on this corner, I've got this pretty yellow, kind of Tuscan uh, finial. And that is a piece that I got from that Real Deals that I've talked about before in previous videos. And I have this cute little ceramic rooster. I actually found him at a thrift store and he was like $2. He doesn't have any chips or nicks, cracks, nothing. He was in perfect condition, and I really like him. And then I just have a little lantern here, and sorry the candle's not on. That candle is one that is on a timer, so they come on about four o'clock and shut off at nine. And then I just have a garland of farmhouse prayer beads wrapped around that. That's one of the garlands that I made myself. And then I just have this lamp here and it kind of matches the runner as far as it's kind of got this French script on the shade. And this is one of those fun magnetic flowers. You can purchase these at Hobby Lobby over by the lamps. So it's it's got a big magnet on the, the back of the flower and then there's a metal plate that goes up underneath the shade and that's how you attach it. So that is 
this side of the bar. And then I'll go around and show you the lower level where my sink is and my two-tiered tray. So also up on this upper area, I have this cute metal crown and I just have one of my Bath and Body Works three wick candles in that. And here is my sink. And yes, it is this white enamel, which I really dislike, and it has a scratch in it. And then I've just got this cute little rooster. It's a little holder that ha you can keep scrubbies in it, and I keep a little nail brush in there. And then next to the sink here, I have this little metal tray that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I have my mason jar soap dispenser, so I've just got my... Dawn dish soap in the bigger one, and my Mrs. Myers hand soap in the scent lavender in the smaller one. And my cute little flying pig, he was a Hobby Lobby find, and I think he was in the 75% off clearance. And then I just have one of these glass cookie jars with some Valentine themed sugar cookies in there. I'm surprised my kids haven't ate them all yet. And then I have my two-tiered tray here. And sorry for the glare, you guys. I've got the slider and the three big windows in the living room. Casting some light in here. So in the bottom of the tray, I have my Ray Den Kisses canister. And in front of that, I just placed one of those little mason jar salt and pepper shakers in there and I just filled it with some pink, red, and white heart confetti that's used to decorate cakes and cookies. And then I just propped the lid to my canister here because I wanted to put a little touch of lamb's ear in the canister. And here is the new Raiden sugar holder I showed in one of my haul videos. And I've just got a little watering can with some lavender in it. I think that was from like the 99 cent store last year. I'll move this a little bit. And then I have this cute cupcake mug and it has a, a little saucer and I'll show you what the saucer looks like here in a minute. And I just put some pink lollipops in that. And then it's got its own little ceramic spoon that has a cupcake on top. I can show you that when we get up onto the other level of the tray. And in the little cream container there in the back, I just put some pink and white peppermint marshmallows. And I just have another Ray Dunn mug back towards the back. And then on the top here, I put my pink prayer beads that I shared with you in a Hobby Lobby haul video. And my kisses Ray Den Kisses plate, I also showed that in a haul. And here's what the little saucer looks like that goes with that cupcake mug. I actually had two of them, and I'll show you where I had it placed, and I walked out this morning and it was broken all over the floor, so that was upsetting. So that other mug was right here where my Ray Den Love mug is. And the little spoon didn't break, so this is what the little spoon looks like that was in the, the mug down below. And I just have some of these little red and white stir sticks in here. And there's just some little faux greenery back here that I have in a little urn. And here's my cute chubby bird I shared with you guys that my mom got me. And he is actually sitting on, let me move this, an antique scale, which you can normally see when I don't have it decorated for Valentine's Day with the, oops, sorry guys, with the Ray Dunn heart plate. And you can see down here below my little sugar container is on a little antique scale as well. I picked those up at a vintage market. So that is what my two-tiered tray looks like. And 
Like I said, I'm not super thrilled with this tray. I don't like how deep these are. It makes it really hard to display things in it and have them be seen. So what I'm going to do is I found one actually at Hobby Lobby that I'd like to get, and I'm hoping to get it next week when it's 50% off. And I'll put that out here. And then what I think I'd like to do with this deeper two-tiered tray is maybe put it in one of the bathrooms with like hand towels and washcloths rolled in it and some soaps and maybe a little floral arrangement or something. I can also use it, use it out in my studio and I think it would be really, really nice out there. I could really utilize it a lot better. So it will end up somewhere else, but this will be the last time hopefully I will be using it here in the kitchen. So guys, I hope you liked my kitchen island and my two-tiered tray. It's, it's kind of simple and for some it may be too much, but I enjoy it and I hope you did too. And I didn't realize it's already time for me to take off and get kids. I don't know where the morning went. So what I'm going to do instead of putting the a preview to the laundry room on this video. I'm just gonna shoot it separately, but I am gonna film it today, so hopefully I'll have that up tomorrow. And really, as far as the Everyday Decor series goes, I still wanna do my coffee table and my bookcases in my living room, and I may just loop those all into one video, and hopefully I'll be shooting those later this week. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments. I appreciate you all so much, and I look forward to coming back to you with the laundry room video. Thanks, guys, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.